Okay, this video will show you how to use top of your pencil as a measuring tool in conjunction with the grid for grid enlargement drawings. So for this part, I'm going to hone in on some of the facial features. As you can see on the left, there's the picture with the one inch grid. This is the two inch grid on this side. All right, so it's kind of zoomed in here. I'm gonna to try to show you uh, in depth how to do this. Okay, so I wanna find out where a lot of these strong uh, contrast areas go over the grid line. So if you look at the math right here, okay? So you see that spot where it goes over that grid line. You can measure from the corner of a grid line to there, and that will correspond to this spot and here. But this side is double that side, okay? So you can use the top of a pencil and measure it. So from there to there is the measurement where my finger is. I take it and move it over put it there and then I double it. It's right here. That spot is here. All right. Now I'm going to find out where that spot is. So from there to there, I'm going to measure about here. And it's one, two, here. About. Yep. All right. It's dead on. So I double checked it. And that's correct. All right. So I'm going to do this and this. One, two, here. And this one, right here. One, two, right there. Okay. So that is the outside of her mouth. So now we have to figure out how to draw it and connect it together. All right, so you're going to notice there's a line. It goes this way. As long as these things are exactly lined up with each other, then this won't be a problem. So let's use the angle of the pencil here. And move that over here. Should be something like this. But it will kind of round out here. And then come down. And then it swings over a little bit. Alright, now notice it does come down further here, okay? So we can measure from the bottom here, how far down that is. Here and here. So it's about here, all right? So this continues, and then there's that lollipop stick. That's about here and here. Okay, remember it's twice as big, right? Okay, now let's measure how big the lip is, we'll measure from that bottom line to here. So it's one, two, it's right here, okay? That's that spot there, All right? So we're basically connecting the dots. Let's see how so that is. One, two, here. Okay, and the angle is this. This, right? And this angle is here. Right? It's right on. Basically, it's a little convex, so there's a little bit of a, a curve to it, an outward curve there. All right. Now, from there to there, here to here, two times that, so two to about there, and then the angle comes this way. All right, so I want to find out exactly where that spot is, where her, the top of her lips come together. All right, so one, two, it's here. And then how far up is it? One, two, right here, about, okay, that spot. See, I measured first from the side, then I measured how far up it was. Okay, so it's like an X, Y axis kind of thing. But I'm going to use this to double check it. It's really important you get this right. Okay, it's five, so it's about ten. I'd say it's about 
little tiny bit higher than what I did. See, sometimes you have to make corrections. Okay, it kind of resembles the shape of an apple, right? Okay, so that's the outside of the lips, right? So now we started figuring out what this was. And let's figure out where that point is. Okay, so one, two, here. Okay. Kind of gets a dark area behind it. Right, then you can start kind of figuring out these dark shapes a little bit at this point. I'm going to really double check to see exactly where those teeth are. And we're only talking about millimeters to two millimeters here. That's about right. Okay. Yep, it is off center. For, it's, it's, it's off from that. You would think it would be right above it this divot but it's actually to the side and that's true if you look at it you have to make corrections as you go you will make mistakes so don't fret about it all right it's not the big of a deal and how wide are the teeth that's important too I'm using a 6b pencil if you use a B pencil for the, uh, the shading is pretty helpful. Okay. Normally, I would use probably like a yellow pencil just to do the regular measuring part, but mine just broke, so I'm just using this for now. Good for now. 